fixeasy.com. Today we'll be replacing the battery and inductive charger in a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. The tools needed to complete this repair are a heat gun, a nylon spudger, a small Phillips screwdriver, a plastic opening tool, fine tip curved tweezers, a SIM card ejection tool, and an iSesimo. To begin, we'll power off the device. Insert a SIM card ejection tool into the hole on the top left of the device. Remove the SIM tray. We'll begin disassembly by heating around the edges of the back cover to soften the adhesive underneath. Once we've sufficiently heated around the edges, we'll insert an iSesimo in between the back cover and the midframe and pry it free from the device. We'll remove the 13 small Phillips screws from around the midframe. Once we have all the screws removed, we'll gently pry at the seam between the LCD and the midframe. We'll insert a plastic opening tool, run it along the side and along the top. There are two clips on the top. Once you release them, the LCD assembly will simply lift out of the midframe. We'll use the pair of tweezers to gently run along the edges of the inductive charger to free it from the frame. We'll run under the ribbon to gently lift it from the back of the mid frame. And we'll flip it over and remove the contacts from inside the mid frame slide it down and pull it free from the midframe. We'll use a nylon spudger to disconnect the battery. Disconnect the ear speaker flex. Disconnect the LCD connection. Disconnect the two small button connections on the bottom of the motherboard. Disconnect the home button. We'll pry the microphone from the display assembly. And we'll lift the motherboard up. And then we will disconnect the dock port connection from the bottom of the motherboard. We'll insert a nylon spudger in between the display assembly and the battery. We'll run it along both edges to free it from the adhesive holding it in place. 
gently pry the battery, and then lift it free from the back of the LCD. We'll remove the backing to the new adhesive we laid down. And we'll re-adhere the battery to the display assembly. We'll reconnect the dock port connection to the underside of the motherboard. Reconnect the home button, the LCD, reconnect the ear speaker, make sure the front facing camera is reseated in place, we'll read here the microphone, reconnect both button connectors. And last, we will reconnect the battery. Feed the contacts through the mid-frame and re-adhere it to the inside. Then we'll re-adhere the inductive charger around the sides of the mid-frame. Insert the bottom of the display assembly into the mid-frame first. And then we'll use a plastic opening tool to gently pry upwards on the mid-frame so that we can clip the display assembly back into it. We'll now replace all 13 screws. We'll remove the backing to the new adhesive we've laid down. We'll replace the back cover. We'll reinstall the SIM tray and power on the device. And there we have it, another successful repair by FixEasy.com. All of the parts and tools used in this video today are available at FixEasy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.